Yeah, hi folks. Uh, this is uh, Glines Avenue in Roxbury, 7 Glines Avenue. It's on the market for 136.5. It's a bank owned property. It's a two family. Uh, and it's in real, real tough shape, as a lot of these bank owned properties are. So let's take a look here and see what we have. And we have uh, not really too much great here. The first floor is boarded up. They don't really want any squatters in here, and that's what I found when I got here about 15 minutes ago. So, they had a bulldog up there, and there were a few kids probably. This is the back. We'll take a look at the rear from the other side. So, yeah, some kids broke in. And uh, I think it has, I think uh, this is a driveway for both of the properties, but I don't know for certain. Here's the rear decks. Sorry about the sun there. All right, so let's go take a look. Let's make this quick. I don't want to get shot <clears throat> when these gangbangers come back. So, by the way, it's a great neighborhood. So I got to turn on the light, the flashlight here, because this is boarded up. So I apologize. You're not going to be able to really see too much, but you know you'll be able to see a little bit here. And unfortunately, my flashlight looks like it's dying here as well. So this is the kitchen. Man, you can't see anything in here, so even with this flashlight. So this is the kitchen here. It's beauty. All right. And this is on the first floor as well. And this is probably best used in, as an office or something like that. I apologize, you can't see much here. Actually, it does have a closet here. So maybe actually, it's actually a bedroom on the first floor. So, all right, and what else do we have here on the first floor? We've got another bedroom. So we've got two bedrooms down here. It's a closet right there. All right, and then we're gonna head back to the bathroom on the first floor. Again, I uh, apologize for the <laughs> for the uh, lighting. It's not the most professional job in the world. Oh look, they have a nice uh, Wayne's coat. They have some nice Wayne's coating on the ceiling. Beautiful. I don't know if you can pick it out though, but it's <laughs> it's nice Wayne's coating. Alright, so let's go take a look upstairs on the next... Oops, we're going to go this way actually. We're going to take a look upstairs. And I don't think I'm going to need the flashlight very much anymore because these floors aren't boarded up. All right, so this is the second floor. And uh, we've got a front room here, which is maybe like a living room. There are your three front uh, windows. Oh, and that's Glines Avenue, by the way. There's a school right at the end of the street. Okay, we're at the end of a dead end street. And if anybody knows Roxbury, to the left there is that tilted round building I mean, that thing is on a total angle. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed that before. But it's really, really tilted. All right, so this is uh, another kitchen here. I guess the layouts are very similar from the first floor to the second floor. All right. Yeah, same thing. Bathroom off of the kitchen again. All right. So. All right. And then we have... This is a, probably a bedroom. So yeah, the layouts on the first and the second floors are exactly the same. So you'd have two small bedrooms. I'm gonna say this is maybe yeah, 10 by nine, I'm gonna say. And this is the, this bedroom here that we were just in is the bottom right hand side, all right? And then uh, we have another bedroom here. And this is where the gangbangers got in because this door is wide open. All right, so this is the back deck. Back deck is in tough shape. And that's a little hatch that they got in. I guess I'm talking more about the gangbangers than I am about the property here. I'm worried that those little bastards come back and shoot me. All right. So, <clears throat> it's a hazard of the real estate job. <laughs> in the inner city. Um, all right, 
so let's go up to the attic, which they have converted. And uh, they converted into like a one bedroom studio apartment. And this is the window that's open. All right, a little view out the back window, which they broke open. And then this is a little bathroom here. I don't know how legal this is. I don't think it's very legal at all. Okay, and then again, a little kitchenette, little living room area, a little dining room area. But uh, it looks like they took out the, uh, oh, they moved the strapping way up, which is kind of strange. It's not great for the, uh, it's not great for the ceiling of this, or the roof of this property. See, some of the old joists, rafters actually is what they are. They took most of the rafters out. So, they left the front three rafters, rafters, joists, whatever. Pieces of wood that hold things together. All right, so the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to go down into the basement. And uh, there's a ton of water down there. I got my feet soaked a few minutes ago. Um, ton of water. So, literally at one point in this, in, in this basement, it's about a foot of water. So we're not going to go very far, unfortunately. There's a ton of water down there. I don't think you can really see it. But uh, there's water all here, all around. So we're not going to be able to go very far here. The only thing we're going to see is the water tanks here. All right. And uh, oh, it's oil. There are two oil tanks right there side by side. But I'm not going any further. And I do see a heating system. I do see some heating systems uh, vents over there, so I see two heating systems, okay? So that is the big tour of Seven Glines Avenue. It's a real beauty. Uh, it's on the market for one, what is it on the market for? It's on the market for uh, 136.5, came on the market a few days ago. Uh, let me know if you wanna make an offer. This is John Bowen with uh, Jonathan Bowen Real Estate. Thanks so much for the time. Take care. Bye-bye.